<laughs> you mean she's a tryhard? Isn't that a good thing? Someone who excels at their... I'm telling her you laughed at that. I didn't laugh. I challenged you. You chuckled. I chuckled. So did Charlotte. So you're going to tell on her too? <laughs> Obviously. Good. And so you Alex, Alex, you have a paper, right? A yeah, warm-up, right a bell ringer. Everyone who is inside the classroom has one. Kyrie. Why am I always doing this, bro? Yeah. All right. What are you? What does that make you? An adult? Are you an adult? You don't do things like this. This works for anyone. Yes. If Miss Fantecchio walked in and asked her, "Hey, how are you?" She gives me a number. Um, you received a warm up. Yes, I am recording. That is something I have to do for the state. And Christian, let's put her phone away. Let's keep it back there and then sit down. Kyrie, let's sit down. Let's begin. I don't have to know that. I just have to know that you're going to come sit down. Kyrie, go sit down. Let's begin. Pencils are here in the center. Cameron, you can uh, scope out if there's anyone coming. Perfect. Cameron, you can leave those right there on the counter. Aaliyah, go ahead and grab a paper from Cameron. And let's begin. Guys, take a seat right now. Let's check in. How do we feel? Give me a number. Give me a description. Can you give that back to me? Okay. Give me a number. Three. Kyrie, Christian, sit down. Give me a number. Number three. Good. Awesome. Let's put our phones away. Let's put our phones away. And let's give me a number. Alex, let's check in. Cameron, how do we feel? Stop hitting my arm. Fire. No. Hey, you want to get Three, Three. okay, Five. anyone else? Two, cool. Christian, how are we? Huh? How are we? None of those. Give me a closest estimation. Nope. Kyrie. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to guess you're at number five, man. You're Iron Man today. You're proud. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a high schooler. You're a high schooler. Okay. So are the rest of us. Um, I'm going to exit this. I'm going to take a poll real quick. Let me, let me understand you guys a little more. All right. I want us to look at taking a poll. Who for breakfast prefers waffles or pancakes? Think about it. Waffles, pancakes... What's more desirable to you? How can you tell me? Maybe with the raised hand. Okay, no T-Rex hands. Don't be indecisive. So, first of all, waffles. Who prefers waffles for breakfast? I'm going to count myself. So, one, two, three. That's it? Just three of us? Yes. Cool, cool. Someone at the junior high did said waffles are better because the syrup stays within the little pockets. Oh, that's so true. So, that's, yeah. that's true. Now, pancakes. <clears throat> I'm assuming those of you who didn't raise your hand for waffles are pancake fans. One, two, three, four, five, six. Neither? French toast. I love French toast. It's not on here, but I think French toast is uh, better than these two options. Yeah? All right. Yeah, I don't either. I skip breakfast, maybe just a coffee, water, that's it. Or a tea and just wait for lunch. Um, lastly, before we head over to our bell ringer, I want to know what are your favorite books? What's your favorite book? Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Favorite books? Any favorite books? I can't remember which one, but it's the one Fun? Okay. No favorite books. Anywhere else? Anyone else? What's that? What are you trying to say? He wants to start with this. Hold on, hold on. That's not how it works. You're in here for period six, all right? I'm going over to math. Harry, you okay? You want a little break? Yeah, but that's what I just asked you. You just told me no. I just told you I'm going to get my work and leave. 
That's not how it works. You can't just get your work and leave. Um, I want us to, on our warm-up paper, to write this equation down. Go ahead and write this down. If you've noticed, it's the exact same thing as yesterday. It's the exact same thing, but... Go ahead and write this down. That's your only job right now. What is that? Is that a question? Yes. No. That right there, right now. Write this equation down. This is a warm up, so no. For now, write this down. Let me explain to you what I want you to do here. No, you can't leave. You're in my sixth period class. This, you're in my math, you're in my math class, right? Uh, no, that's not where I want you. I want you sitting down and working on this. Okay, so we're just going to write this down. Here's what I want from you. Don't identify. Don't identify, but combine anything that is a similar term. I'm going to quiz you guys real quick. What is this considered right here? A variable term. Good. It has a number and a variable. That's a variable term. Are there any more variable terms? Here? This is a variable term. Are there any constant terms? What's a constant term? Just a number by itself. I'm going to uh, do a little squiggly line. You should be copying what I'm doing. I'm underlining the variable term. I am doing a squiggly line for the constant terms or numbers without variables. Does it have to be a squiggly line? Nope, you can make it up. You can do two lines under it. You can circle it, square it. Maybe not cross it out. Now that we've, we've identified, is there anything missing that's not underlined or squiggly lined? No. We just have variables and constant terms. Let's combine these together. I cannot combine the 9x and the negative 2, right? They're not the same term. We can combine this with this with this. So let's do that now together. How can I combine 9x plus 16x plus minus x? First, I'm going to add. What am I going to add, Ruben? 9x plus? 16. Okay, and what is that? Who can help me out? Yeah, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, right? 25x minus 1x is what? 25x minus 1x is 24. Now, constant terms. What, what about the numbers? Let's combine the numbers. Anthony, can you help out with this? Help me combine the, the constant terms. So, just the numbers. Negative 2 plus 8 plus 10. Negative 2 plus 8 would be 6. 6 plus 10 is 16. What I've squared, what I've squared is a answer. Uh, I'm just combining like terms. That's it. Hey, Christian, I'm going to take this from you. Okay? This is not something we're going to be using right now. Thank you. Christian, use, use logic. If I took this away from you, you shouldn't get up and grab something else. I think, Christian, you're smarter than that. Don't be influenced. All right? Your warm-up is uh, on the other side of the room, though. I would go back there or bring it up here with you. Okay? I have my stamp right here. What does a stamp mean? It means you were a part of the warm-up. You were here.